Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can do object tracking in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, you can check out my second channel, link in the description. So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here you can see I'm using Blender 3.1, nice. So first of all, click on this plus icon, come to this VFX and change this to motion tracking. So now from here we can load our footage. So simply click on this open and select the footage. So here I got the footage and open clip here. So this is the footage. So first of all, come to this render settings, scroll down color management and this view transform, change it to standard. So now come to this output properties. So here the frame rate is set from 1 to 250, but here I want all the frames of this footage. So simply click on this set scene frames to update this one. So here you can see this is updated. So now we need to adjust the frame rate. So here the FPS is 30 FPS. So let me change this to 30 FPS and resolution is full HD. So the resolution OK. So now after once these properties were done, now click on this prefetch option so that all the frames will be loaded into this cache memory. And by the way, if the loading has been stopped at any point, come to this edit, preferences, system. Here we need to increase this memory cache limit. So after increasing this memory cache limit, again click on this prefetch. So all the frames will be loaded into the cache memory here. Okay. So before going to track this object, First, let me change this track settings to blurry footage since this footage is not that much of clarity and also let me enable this normalize option. So now if I move forward in timeline here, the object is moving, the camera is static. So that means we are not tracking the camera. We are only going to track this object. So first come to this track options in objects. This is set to camera. So since we are not tracking the camera, let's click on this plus icon and select this object. Make sure this object is selected. And now let's track the markers on this object here. So in order to add track markers, hold control key, left mouse click here. Okay. So now press alt S to get the search area, press S and increase the search area if required. And from here also we can adjust the track point. So once the track point is set, press Ctrl plus T or else you can click on this icon here. So I will press Ctrl plus T. So now you can see the tracking process is started and it is completed throughout the timeline. So let me increase the view here so that all the frames are visible. So in this way, we need to track minimum eight track markers. So Blender requires eight tracker markers here. So once the track point is then press Ctrl plus L to lock that camera tracker in order to avoid any accidental movements. Okay. So now let me track few more track points here. So come to this first frame, hold Ctrl key, select the track point, press S to increase the search area. Let me place it once again, press Ctrl plus T and the tracking is started. So in this way, I will track few more track points once again. So here I have tracked more than eight track points. So once the tracking is done, now we need to solve the track error. So come to this solve option here and click on this solve object motion. So here you can see we got solve error of 0 0.60 pixels. So anything less than one pixel will be good. And by the way, if you want to check the error value of each track marker here, come to this clip display option and enable this info option. So now if I select any of the track point here, we'll get the error value visible here. So for this track point, average error is 0.77 pixels. So if I select this one, this has one pixel error. So let me select this one and let me delete this track point and let me solve the object once again. So now the error value has been reduced by 0.04 pixels. So in this way, we can reduce the average error value by selecting individual track points or else you can directly select the track point from here by seeing the value of this up and down graph and delete the respective track point so as to increase the or decrease the solve error. Okay. So once the solve error is 
pretty enough we can move forward so let me set this scene as background so scroll down and click on this set as background here so that we will get our background visible in this scene so let me come to this so let me set the camera come to this camera options background image and let me increase the opacity to one so let me select the cube let me hide it out okay so now select the camera come to this object constraint properties add object constraint and select this camera solver so now let's move back to the layout here so first of all let me select the camera and let me reset the values here to 0 0 0 since there is no camera tracking done here let me reset the values to 0 0 0 and z rotation let it be 0 x rotation let it be 90 and let me move this camera backward to 2 meters so since i know the object is away from camera like 2 meters i will move this in y axis like 2 meters here so roughly i will match the distance so here 2 meters distance and i want to set the z distance also 2 meters so z is z so i think 2 meters will be fine okay see through the camera and let me enable this motion tracking options so that we get our motion tracks visible so now you can see we got this trackers following the movement of the plane nice so now we need to get a 3d mesh created for this marker so in order to add any 3d objects onto this plane we need to have a 3d mesh so let me move back to this motion tracking select all the track markers here come to this geometry option expand this one and click on this 3d markers to mesh so now we'll get 3d mesh created so let me come to this here so now if i hide out this markers point also we can see we got this 3d mesh but if i play this those 3d markers will not be following this markers so we need to solve this object tracking also so now select the tracks here come to this object constraints add object constraint and select this object solver so in object we need to select the object in camera we need to select the camera and make sure to click on the set inverse option so now if i play this we can see we got our 3d mesh following this 3d tracking points here nice so now let's see how we can add 3d objects into this scene or into this tracked plane so first of all let me come out of this camera view so here first of all let me import a car model so here i will be using blender kit to get some car models here blender kit is free to download so press n let me select this blender kit and in search bar i will search as car so we'll get some car models so here you can see we got some models here so from here i will select a free 3d car model so this is free model so simply click on that icon here we'll get that car model built in this scene so here you can see we got that car model so let me close this press n to close this also and in order to get this car model onto this tracker points select any of the track points here shift plus s and select this cursor to select it so that we'll get this 3d cursor at the tracking point so now select the car model shift plus s and select this cursor selection to cursor so now you can see we got our car model moved to that position so now let's adjust the rotation and everything so that it matches with the perspective of our tracking point so let me rotate this here press n s to increase the scaling press the first side view and let me rotate this here bit press one so here i think we have matched with the position rotation of our car so let me move back to this camera view so now if i play this you can see this 3d object is not following the movement of this tracker plane so in order to make this 3d object follow the movement of this tracker plane we need to parent this object to this plane so before doing that let me increase the scaling so press s increase the scaling here so i think this much is fine 
so now let's parent this object to this tracker plane so first of all select the car model hold control key and select the tracks make sure only car and tracks are selected now press ctrl plus p and select this object so now if i play this you can see the car model is attached to this tracking points nice so let me hide out this motion tracking markers now come to this render viewport so now if i play this you can see this 3d object is staying in its position nice so in order to make this 3d objects blend into the scene we need to use an hdri or 360 image of the footage or location where we have shot the film so since i don't have that i will be using the same footage here so come to this world properties color environment texture so from here let me load the footage only so let me select the footage open come to this properties enable element occlusion enable screen space reflections refractions and enable this transparency also so make sure to enable transparency so that the hdr is not visible in the scene so in this way we can do this object tracking in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye